moi. everybody it's friday so i got my sunglasses on well it's not just friday it's also a beautiful summer day out there and i'm checking on the weather it looks like it's uh, we're finally getting some good weather after a couple weeks of cold rain so uh we'll let you know this show is gonna be much shorter than even yesterday because why is it going to be shorter? Oh, it's going to be shorter because it's Friday. Yay. Awesome. Let's see. Anybody that... Yep. Yep. Friday. All right. All right. Kids, ice cream. All right. There we go. So, instead of talking about a bunch of news stuff like I often do, I'm going to just mention one story, which I thought was kind of interesting, and that is... Look at me. I'm chilling, right? <laughs> So, uh, I noticed that uh, there was a news report that said last year, 4 million Romanians traveled on vacation outside the country. Now, there's only about 20 million people in this country. So, I mean, you do the math, and that's basically a quarter of all the people. Now, I realize some of these people, are, you know, they probably went out more than one time. And, of course, you know, that counts as a going outside. Or I don't think this was exactly 4 million individual people, but... You know, a lot of times, man, you know, Romania, it's like, oh, life sucks. I don't know how I'm going to survive another day, but we're going to Croatia or Greece or I don't know what's going on. But anyway, that's about the only story I really wanted to talk about uh, that's from the news. Um, if you look at the little red thing on, on, the top, on the top there... You'll see that I got some fun stuff coming this weekend out. It's not going to be a live show. It's just I'm going to be re-recording some stuff, filming some stuff, and putting it all together. And then uh, on Sunday on the on the website, which is www.theromaniashow.com, and uh, yeah, so that'll be a fun thing. I I got it planned out, and uh, someone's going to help me do some stuff, and it's going to be pretty cool. So. Uh, I will stay on the air a few more minutes uh, if you want your tweet to get onto the screen you just use the hashtag the symbol like that plus the Romania show on word you can see behind me we got uh, at least one fan which is cool and if you want to call me on Skype, I got the Skype going. Uh, you can have a look right here. I think it's all set up. And yep, there it is. So that is the Romania show. Not too hard to figure out. All one word, and I can take audio as well as uh, video Skype calls. So if you want to call me on Skype, got a question, something going on. Um, I don't know if my bandwidth can handle it. I noticed the image is a little messed up today. I'm not quite really sure. So, um, meantime, I wanted to show you something kind of cool, especially for you. Uh, oh, look at that. It's like halfway disappearing. Uh, what is this? If you're an American, and you probably think it's uh, a bottle of Isis tea. Now, if I hold it up, you can see, I'll hold it up on this side, it's a little easier, there we go, the light's a little kooky, but that's actually a brand of water, because uh, this isn't a bottle of water, this, someone used this, they recycled it. See, it used to be in Romania, I mean, nowadays, I mean, there's a modern recycling thing around the corner, and, you know, you can you throw your plastic in there, and, you know, it goes off to who knows where, and, oh, I did something for the environment. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but... This is Romanian style recycling, which is instead of, you know, throwing it in the bin or just throwing it in the trash, uh, you put alcohol in here. <laughs> See, because someone gave me this, is it's a two liter bottle or one and a half, two liter bottle of, oh, oh, there we go. So some homemade wine. Now, I realize a lot of people have never tried homemade wine before and um, consider it almost like a miraculous thing. You know, it's funny because a 
a long time ago, I was a waiter and uh, in a restaurant, and these, oh, by the way, Norok, this is for you. Ah, oh, delicious. Uh, bam. Uh, a long time ago, I was a waiter, and I remember one time there were these two people sitting in a table that I was, uh, you know, being their waiter. And they were having a long, long conversation about whether uh, in the Christian Bible you can drink alcohol. And one guy was saying, you know, no, you can't, blah, blah, blah. The other guy said, well, what about this passage? They had a Bible right there between them, and they're, you know, they're looking up things. And, uh, you know... A lot of people talk about it, right? I mean, especially if you're Christian at all, because the, the everyone knows the first miracle that Jesus did was he turned water into wine. So, what does it got to do with this? Uh, it means that if you want to know what the wine was like in those days, um, for, forget the religious aspect of it, saying the people who were making wine, they were making it like this, homemade. There was no factory. There was no... Uh, 10,000 bottles a year coming out of a professional vintage, and you know, you paid a hundred bucks and some, you know, fancy guys like, oh, excellent choice, that goes with the uh, fish, sir, blah, blah, blah. No, people were making wine, and by the way, this is my first class, in case you're wondering, <laughs> I actually do have a job, I can't be getting drunk in the middle of the day, but anyway, um, a long time ago, people you may see their own wine, and uh, that's pretty much what it was. And people still do that in Romania today, so that's pretty cool. So, anything else? Uh, I, I, I see the video uh, isn't loading up good, and I don't really know why. Uh, we'll just have to assume that something's going on. But either way, not too worried about it. Uh, we had a long, long week talking about all the serious stuff. And, you know, there's a role for that. There's a place for that. And I'm cool with that. But um, it's Friday. And good gracious, it's 7 p.m. already. And uh, work is done, right? I mean, pretty much. So I'm not going to worry too, too much about the uh, state of affairs with the video. I was fooling around with some stuff earlier, and I think that might have screwed up the memory, or I don't know what's going on. Point is, folks, it's free. Oh, there is something I did want to mention, and if you have a smartphone, which means it can download and install all kinds of crazy stuff, there is a Ustream application, and you can watch this show on your phone, which is kind of cool. Uh, my phone's a little too messed up to do that, but um, uh, if you've got one of these fancy phones that actually works, um, you know, give it a try. It might be cool. So, um, what else? Ah, beautiful day, man. I guess uh, I'll sit here for a couple more minutes, see if anybody wants to call, but considering my bandwidth at the moment, it's probably not really worth it, but I ran into a cool, cool friend of mine and uh, today, and uh, that's really funny, because I haven't seen that guy, I don't, I got, he's kind of a homeless guy, I mean, he's not like homeless, homeless, like he never sleeps indoors or whatever, but he's a little homeless guy, and, uh, you know, he stops me in the street today, hey, what's up, blah, blah, blah. he don't speak English, you know, but, um, he was like, hey, you want to hang out with me for five, ten minutes? And uh, we went to the cemetery, which was, you know, right near where we were when I ran to him. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, cemeteries, creepy and dead people and stuff. But it's middle of the day, or it's daytime. So it's a sunny day, beautiful day. And, you know, the wind's kind of blowing through the trees. And it's real quiet. And there's grass and a uh, little bird hopping around and you know he's a cool guy I haven't talked to him in a while just kind of chatting and just chilling and you know it was pretty it was pretty nice like I tell you I was uh, you know like I said long wait this guy he's always a real optimistic guy a real positive guy so it was cool hanging out with him but <sighs> I'm a little tired but uh, I'm gonna get my rare rest tonight and uh, we're going to have some fun on the weekend. And I'm trying to see when I'm going to...
turn this off and see. Oh, okay. Well, it's mostly working. But anyway, I know there's not thousands and thousands of you watching this show, but I do want to thank those of you who are. And, and of course, I'll be re, uh, posting this on the webs, and it'll be recorded. It is being recorded. And one day you'll say, I used to watch that show back when it was nothing, when it was uh, two guys and a cat watching the show. You know, because uh, that's how things work. I mean, uh, somebody was the first one to buy an Apple computer, right? I mean, uh, it was two guys in a garage with some soldering equipment. And, uh, you know, everything started somewhere. Heck, I mean, my own blog, I started, had like five readers. Uh, a week, maybe, and then six months later, I'm getting, you know, I don't know, 17,000 views a day. So, you gotta have a little patience, you gotta hang in there, and all the stuff that will get resolved. I mean, the lighting's a little better. I'm a little, this side's a little overlit at the moment, unless if we can slightly adjust. Well, no, because no, it's at the wrong height. Either way, not to worry about it, and uh, like I said, stay tuned, and Sunday we'll have a cool, it won't be live, but uh, it'll be a produced segment, and hopefully we'll figure out whatever it is that's chopping up this video footage, because uh, of course on my computer I can see just fine, but anyway, uh, thanks very much for watching, and uh, it's been a cool week, yeah, and I, guess what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see you later, yeah, but first, I'm melting!